Hello and welcome back to the old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and thank you for joining me after a Wolves win, a pre-season win against Peterborough United 1-0 and the goal was scored by a 16-year-old debutant, Austin Samuels, who's been impressing at his level, at his age level. He was supposed to be promoted to the under-23s during pre-season, but because they're on a tour at the moment in Holland in the competition, he wasn't. he hasn't gone with them, he stayed with the first team came onto the pitch and scored after being on the pitch for 18 minutes and it was a good finish as well from a breakaway including new signing Yotta who we'll come to in a minute, Jordan Graham and then finally finished off by Austin Samuel. So that was very, very pleasing to see somebody coming through the ranks and hopefully we could have on our hands here a young, similar to Robbie Keane. Forgive me, for, I've, I've got to hold my camera at the moment because my tripod is in a box somewhere. If you watch my last video, you'll you'll know that I'm moving at the moment. So that's that's why that is the case. Uh, so yeah, Wolves this morning confirmed the capture of Diego Yota from Atletico Madrid on loan for the season. He was on loan at Porto last season and played a lot of games. He played about 27 games last season for Porto and played all eight of their Champions League uh, games, which is incredible. And he'd have played alongside Ruben Neves as well and Willy Bolly in that team. Which so we're building a base uh, and a core of a team based around Portuguese players and young players and exciting players. And from what I saw today, I was quite impressed by Willy Bolly. Compared to the team in the second half, compared to the team in the first half, I thought it was much better. Let me know what you think if you watched the game. So yeah, quite happy about Diogo Jota. He seemed quite happy with the physicality of the English game from today's match as well. Didn't see a lot of him. Uh, but a couple of good touches and good bits of skill as well, which is great to see. I was also impressed in the first half by Vinegre, who was the left back. He got took the ball forward quite a few times at the age of only 18 as well. I think we've got somebody there who we can develop, hopefully, and, and keep hold of as well. In other news, Ruben Neves' his injury doesn't seem as serious as it first feared. Uh, he left the game against Shrewsbury in a protective boot, but that looks as if he should be fit for the Leicester game on Saturday, which would be great to see him at Molyneux for 45 minutes or so. That would be brilliant. Just a note as well about these players coming from Portugal and from Spain. Their pre-season is some way behind ours. Their season starts a little bit later than ours, which means that they're not as fit. And we saw last season with Helder Costa when he came in. It took him really until about October and November until he really hit the ground running. So... It would be interesting to see how long it takes these players as well because Neves and Jota both played out in the under-21s European Championships earlier on in the summer as well. So they'll be quite exhausted. But hopefully they'll be able to get going sooner rather than later. And the final piece of news is that there's a documentary being filmed at the moment at the Wolves which is tracking the progress or talking about the progress that Fosun have made throughout this year. It's going to be shown on Sky Sports on the 4th of August, which is the day before the season starts, um, on this new Sky Sports football channel. It's going to culminate as well with the game against Leicester on Saturday. Still really, really want a striker. That's what we're missing at the moment. Hopefully we can get one of those before the season starts. I think Tim Nash put on Twitter this morning that Wolves obviously would like a striker before the season starts rather than before the transfer window ends. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that will get through in the next week or so. Sam Gallagher from Southampton is the main target that's been reported. And I'm not sure whether he would be the type of player that we need. But with Brit Sombolonga going to Middlesbrough and the Abubakar deal sort of dying, maybe Sam Gallagher is what we need. Or could it be Austin Samuels? Let me know what you thought of the game tonight if you went to it. Please let me know if you watched it on the live stream. Let me know what you thought as well. I thought that the second half was much better than the second, uh, first half. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There'll be a video on Saturday from the Leicester game. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Just realised that I've forgotten a couple of things that I wanted to add. First of all, don't forget to check out the links in the description for bone marrow uh, donation and blood donation where you can help people who've got leukaemia, which of course is in our minds at the moment. And also, if, you want, if you're interested in fantasy football, I've set up a old golden black fantasy league. Lots of you have joined. Thank you very much for that. Let's see if we can keep on growing. We'll have a prize for the person who finishes top of that league. I'd also like as well to ask you if you can email in some of your funny wolf stories or interesting wolf stories that you've had over the years. I'll put an email address here and 
in the description as well. So make sure if you've got anything that you want to share with us, then we might have a little weekly video where we read out interesting historical stories or funny stories or whatever. Please, please, please get in touch with us and we can start building this community. Thank you very much again. Don't forget, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.